husband, Matt, and here's her story. I was baptized along with my siblings when I was a young child. Over the years, I attempted to live a Christian life within my own strength. As an adult, I chose to accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior in Charleston, where my husband and I were confirmed and married. In the summer of 2018, I came to Stafford when my husband first received orders to Quantico. Upon our arrival, we began attending the Mount because we liked the preschool program for our daughter. The Mount has become one of the biggest blessings in my life. For the first time, I have begun moving from an obedient, authoritative type of relationship to an authentic friendship with the Lord. I am choosing to be baptized today to proclaim my salvation and take a step of membership in the church. I am so excited to begin to serve others. And this is Jeremiah's story. My mom and dad were the first people to tell me about Jesus. For as long as I can remember, I have always believed in God and Jesus. I accepted Jesus into my heart during a Christmas Eve service at the Mount. Pastor Todd asked if anyone wanted to welcome Jesus into their heart, and I prayed with him and then raised my hand when he asked us to. My favorite thing about Jesus is that he created me and the world. My favorite Bible verse is Joshua 1.9 because it reminds me to be strong and courageous when I'm scared. I want to be baptized because Jesus was baptized and I want to be like him. I also want to show people that I believe in Christ. This is Eli, and today he's being baptized by his father, Scott. This is Eli's story. My dad and mom were the first people to tell me about Jesus. My dad and I were talking about sin and how it separates us from God and how no amount of money or good deeds could get us into heaven and how Jesus is the one and only way to God. We prayed and I asked God to forgive me and told him that I knew Jesus died for my sins and rose from the dead. I asked Jesus to come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. After we prayed together, my dad and I talked about how nothing in heaven or in hell could now ever separate me from God. My favorite thing about Jesus is how he sacrificed himself for us. My favorite Bible story is when Peter trusted Jesus to walk on water, and then when Peter looks away, he sinks. I want to be baptized to let people know that I am a Christian. All right, Josiah, you ready? Stepping in the water right now is Josiah and Gabriella Thompson. And this is Josiah's story. The first person to tell me about Jesus was my mom. One night, I was talking with my mom and sister about Jesus and the decision to have Jesus be my savior. I decided to pray and ask Jesus to be my savior. My favorite thing about Jesus is when he was teaching the disciples. My favorite Bible verse is Isaiah 43.5. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. It is my favorite verse because it makes me feel not alone. I want to be baptized to show people that I believe Jesus died for me and that he is my Savior. Josiah, with that, your dad's going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right, all right. This is Gabriella's story. My mom was the first person to tell me about Jesus. When I was at first grade, 
I was leaving school and it was raining really hard and I prayed and asked Jesus to stop the rain. I knew that day that I wanted Jesus to be my savior. I prayed and asked Jesus to be my savior. My favorite thing about Jesus is that he loves us. My favorite Bible story is the Easter story because on the third day, Jesus came back to life. I want to be baptized to show everyone that I believe in Jesus. Gabriella, with that, you're going to be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Stepping up now is Zayden Helms. My mom was the first person to tell me about Jesus. I was five the day I came to know Jesus as my savior. I was in my dad's truck and we were listening to K-Love on the radio. They were talking about being saved by asking Jesus into your heart. I told my dad that I wanted Jesus in my heart. My dad prayed with me and I asked Jesus to live in my heart. My favorite thing about Jesus is that he saved us and loves us no matter what. My favorite Bible story is when Aaron threw down his stick and it turned into a snake and ate the sorcerer's stick that had also turned into a snake. I like the story because it shows that no one is more powerful than God. I want to be baptized because I've asked Jesus to come into my heart and now I want to show my family and the world that I love Jesus. Zayden, with that, your dad's going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is McKenna Morris making her way in. McKenna says, my mom and dad were the first people to tell me about Jesus. Last year, I was talking with my family about the decision to follow Jesus. I prayed with them and made the decision to follow him for the rest of my life. My favorite thing about Jesus is that he forgives us when we sin and that his life was taken to save us. My favorite Bible verse is John 3:16, because God gave his one and only son to come and save us and to forgive us of our sins. I want to be baptized so that other people can know that I made a decision to follow Jesus. McKenna, with that, your dad's going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All this is fascinating. Charles Henderson is making his way in, and Pastor Todd's going to actually baptize him. I love his email. It's Redskins. That a boy. Come on, come on. Pardon? Coach at North Stafford High School. That a boy. When did he make your salvation decision? Charles says today. And I love this. He says, it's time to have the Lord in my life personally. And you do confess that Jesus is Lord and Savior. And with that, pastors are going to baptize you, Coach, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Well done, Coach. Well done, Coach. Stepping in now, this is Juan Grimaldo. I love this. My name is Juan Grimaldo. My wife is Luann, and we have, been, we have three adult children and six grandchildren. I was attending the Mount in 2009 during the Alpha series after Pastor Todd preached on the good news of Jesus Christ and all that he has done for me. I knew something was missing in my life. I wanted to receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. God touched my heart and I know, and I know Jesus loved me and has forgiven my sins. Serving at the Mount has been an amazing thing in my life. I love the people I serve with. I experience God peace each day. 
but on Sundays while I'm serving with the parking team, we pray together and I feel his love and presence even more. I know I'm making a difference by helping people get into the church easily and hear the good news. I want them to experience Jesus the way that I do. There are still many challenges in my life, but I trust Jesus will get me through it all because I want to be obedient. It is time to be baptized. I believe my baptism will help strengthen my walk with Jesus even more. Juan, you are a tremendous servant, and I know that you love people, and I know that you love serving people. And what a beautiful step that you're taking here in your profession of faith. And with that, Pastor's going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Everyone, this is Luz, uh, try it again. This is Liz Katoros. Liz, <clears throat> she said that she accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior in January of 21, uh, 2018. And why is she being baptized today? I can't wait another minute. I love it, Liz, I love it. With that, Pastor's gonna baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. All right, Liz. Oh, this is Woody Hall making his way into uh, the baptistry. When did you make your decision? A long time ago. Woody, I'm going to ask you, do you believe that Jesus was Lord, is Lord and Savior of your life? Do you believe that he lived, that he died, and he rose again? With that, my friend, the pastor's going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right, Woody. All right, congratulations. This is Alexandra Brown Jones coming in. I love these. I love these. When did you make your decision for Jesus? Today. Today. Alexandra, you believe that Jesus lived, died, and he rose again. All right, with that confession of faith, and the new life that you want in Christ. Pastor's gonna baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is Melissa Worley coming in. Melissa has believed since she was a teenager but today she's saying it's time to be baptized, to follow Jesus, and to show my thankfulness for his presence in my life. Melissa, we're so grateful that you're going public with this. And with that, pastor's gonna baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Come on, Cameron. Oh, this is Cameron Smith. Here's another one. When did you make your salvation decision? Cameron says, today. Congratulations, my brother. You believe that Jesus lived, that he died, that he rose again, and that he is Lord and Savior of your life? With that profession of faith, Cameron, pastor's gonna baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is beautiful. This is Stephen Card working his way into the water with his daughter. And it's Stephen that's going to be baptized. Stephen says that he accepted Jesus last September. And last year, watching uh, his brother deal with cancer and pull out of, uh, and having to pull him off of life support, I knew then. Uh, that I needed to be baptized. And Stephen, with that, your daughter is gonna baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Zandra, come on. Come on. This is exciting because I did her wedding, is it three years ago? Two years ago, three years ago. All right. When did you make a salvation decision? As a child. Why are you choosing to be baptized today? I've always followed God and have never been baptized. Today I feel the Lord is telling me it's time. And it's my next step towards my faith and in my faith. With that, pastor's gonna baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Come on, Carrie Ann. This is Carrie Ann Henderson. Carrie Ann accepted Jesus in January of 2012. And she says, I feel that I've cleaned up my life in a way that would please our Lord. I feel that I am in a great place of light and ready to lead and to love others. Carrie Ann, you never had to get it all right. It's God's job to get it right. I'm so proud of you. With your profession of faith, pastor's gonna baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Come on, Cheryl, come on. This is Cheryl. Cheryl accepted uh, Christ really in 1979, but it looks like you rededicated your life in 1994. Is that right? All right. I've always wanted to be baptized. I've always believed in the Lord, but I just want my sins. I, she needs them to be washed away. Well, you know what? And that is part of what happens at baptism. You believe that Jesus is Lord and Savior. He lived, he died, he rose again. With that, pastor's gonna baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yep. It's a good day. Brothers? I got Sam and Jack Wilson stepping in the water. Which one's Sam? Are you Sam? All right, Sam. Sam made a decision for Jesus three years ago. I want to follow through with my commitment to Christ and to show publicly that I'm a Christian. Sam, with that, your dad's going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is Sam's brother, Jack. Jack says that he accepted Christ about a year ago, and that this is an outward sign of his obedience to God and to show that I am a Christian. Jack, with that, your dad gets to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. she was eight years old and she is going to be baptized today. Uh, Jonathan has said that he was raised in the church and he's come back to Jesus and accepted him when he was 21. Galen is being baptized today because she is recommitting her life to God. Praise God as they're entering into marriage soon. Pastor is baptizing you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So Jonathan says he'd like to be baptized today because he wants the Lord to be with them as they begin their marriage and to be forever a part of his life. Today, Jonathan, pastor is going to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. This 
This is Gail. Gail is being baptized today as she's coming up to, she's congratulating our, our soon to be married couple. Gail accepted Jesus when she was 12 years old. She wants to be baptized today to rededicate her life, to re recommit as an adult through baptism. Isn't that awesome? She is so excited and we are too. Pastor is going to baptize you today, Gail, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Mark has been coming down for what, about the past five months or so? And Mark today, um, hearing the message, he wanted to just renew his faith, and he wanted to let everyone know that he is declaring with his life that he is a follower of Christ. So Mark, is it your testimony that you are indeed a follower of Jesus? Well, it's my honor then, Mark, to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yeah. 